go to the segment. Now that you mentioned, we're talking to Rod Twazon, who is an expert in so many fields, and that's why we requested him to be on the air with us because we have so many listeners asking the questions. And I know you will be getting a lot of the information. You mentioned the uh, estate planning, which is also one of the services that you offer. Now, uh, it's true. A lot of people would like to save on, uh, you know, asking someone to um, have their trust account. But first and foremost, we'd like to ask about this, about financial planning. Is it important to have a living trust? Is it is it important depending on who you ask, depending <laughs> because uh-huh. a lot of people think that only the rich people need to have a living trust. Yes. That's not true. Mm-hmm. Um a living trust is is um especially a living revocable trust yes. is is um what basically what, having it basically would protect your assets. And, and one of the main reasons to do it is probate avoidance. Yes. Uh, bypass probate and, and, and make sure that you, you know, the, the properties flow through your hairs, um, as you've outlined in trust documents. For example, um, if, if you have one property and the value per property is $500,000 and you did not do anything at all, and uh, say hypothetically your property is just is is just under your name. Uh, you don't have any joint living. Um, you don't you don't have any joint tenant. And um, and you have a will, but you have the deed. So you pass away. So what's going to happen is at least in California, you're going to go before you transfer the title from your property to your beneficiary. For example, to your son or your daughter, it needs to go through the probate process. And the probate process, and um, on the top of my head, it's uh, it will cost you or your beneficiary, your heir, one percent of the first one hundred thousand. That's already a thousand. I'm sorry, three percent of the first one hundred thousand. Then two percent the next one hundred thousand, and then one percent of the next one hundred thousand. That alone would cost you three to six. 6000 for the first 300000 mm-hmm. Um That's only for probate for the attorneys. And that's, you know, you, and then you pay the executor separately. So say assuming for, for 500000 and, and you owe 300000 The probate uh, costs and the fees are based on 500000 Not They're not going to deduct whatever you owe. Mm-hmm. So they're still going to probate whatever the fair market value of the property at the time of your death. So you say something hypothetically, uh, you pay $10,000 to the attorney, you also have to pay 10000 to the executor. Wow, incredible. So that's 20000 already. That's taken out of your beneficiary's, um, you know, inheritance mm-hmm. when he sells the property. A lot of people don't recognize that. You know, um, yes. oh, it's so expensive to have a living trust done, but, but they didn't realize that it's going to be more expensive um, when, when, you know, when they pass away and then the beneficiary will, will, will take over. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that, that your beneficiary cannot do a self-administered probate. Uh-huh. I see. But then, you know, but then, of course, you know, um, what's the quality of life of your beneficiary is going to be um, hindered for the next one to two years because it's going to be very, very difficult and very time-consuming to do a probate on your own. Mm-hmm. What about uh, just putting the name of your heir in the deed of your house? You can. That's 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 one way to do it. It's called. Correct. Um, there is a simple way to leave your residence to beneficiaries without the need of a probate. Yes. Um, but however, half of the states. Make sure whenever you leave an estate, you have to check it with your state. Have some form of called transfer of death deed. It's called T O D D. Mm-hmm. A transfer and death deed form is a deed that, that serves as a substitute for a will. Uh-huh. So like a will, a TOD or a transfer and death deed allows property owners to designate the beneficiary to inherit the property on the property's owner's death. So the most important benefit of Todd, I usually just say Todd, yes. TOD, account is simplicity. 
It's That's very right. simple. Mm-hmm. Uh, state planning can help minimize the legal mess left after you die. Without it, the probate system can take over the distribution of your assets. Um, it can also.